All right, big billionaire news this afternoon. Nine months after the car crash that led to the meltdown of Tiger Woods' personal life, he and his wife, Ellen Nordegren, have completed their divorce. For more on the story, let's bring in Bloomberg contributing editor Rick Haro, who joins us on the phone. Rick, uh, I have to say, it's a surprising story that, that you can do a, a divorce like this under the radar, and yet it looks like they've done it all, and it's done. Well, done all done, except for the time it was done at $750 million that everybody reported a few years ago, a months ago, and it's, it's not, that's not done. Uh, by the way, I'm, I'm looking as we speak, you don't know, you need to know how I got here, but at, at Tiger Woods' is soon to be, he's either his house or Elon's house uh, on Jupiter Island, and, and there's no big flag, nobody's jumping up and down, so it's business as usual, even before the divorce. Michael Jordan was at $168 million, Greg Norman at $103 I suspect it's going to be a little north of that. Well, and I, I mean, it's going to probably rival Paul McCartney, right? I think he lost uh, maybe a quarter of a billion dollars in his divorce. Um, what do you expect as far as what we're going to hear about Tiger's assets? I mean, how much money does this guy actually have, house in Jupiter Island included? Well, we've used this line before. Let's not hold a bake sale for the guy because his endorsements were down this year. So, you know, his assets may be over a couple billion. He didn't deny the story that he was the first athlete billionaire. I'm sure that was used in court as a pleading. His endorsements are worth $22 million less than last year, according to a lot of people, including 86% drop in the Nintendo Wii platform. I bet you his lawyers are saying the Tiger is headed for the poorhouse because his finances are going in the opposite direction. The lawyer on the other side, not so fast. That's why whatever the number is will be a very interesting number. It's interesting that he's always reported as the first athlete billionaire, but I believe Mikhail Schumacher, the uh, Formula One driver, was there first. Of course, he's still happily married, so he and his wife will keep all that money together. Does this get split up 50-50 with Tiger and Elon? Well, that's what the state of Florida's rules presume. So, you know, the lion's share will be that. But where his assets, how much do we think are future earnings? What do you factor in as far as the general endorsement deals beyond the next contract? Once you define the assets, it's pretty easy to divide it. The real key was how to find them and how to characterize them. That's why they pay the lawyers the big bucks. What about other golfers, other athletes that have gone through uh, those big number divorces you were talking about? I mean, when they win a championship, does half that money go to the ex-wife? Do they, do they have to pay out future earnings? Directly and indirectly. Now, you know, Greg Norman's divorce was $103 million, um, But after that divorce, he married Tennis Hall of Famer Chris Everett. That marriage lasted only 18 months, and there was a prenup there. Michael Jordan's was at $168 million, not just the costliest sports divorce, but the costliest celebrity divorce, the McCartney one up there as well. Uh, that was, by the way, until Tiger ultimately signed on the dotted line. All right. Hey, Rick, thanks very much for this. I'm sure we'll get more details coming from Rick Haro, who happens to be looking at Tiger Woods' house for some reason in Jupiter Island uh, right now on his cell phone.